G'day and welcome to this playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is a 2004 action RPG game with uh, first and third person perspectives, which you can swap between. Um, Yes, this is not the first time I've played the game, but it's an old classic. And I am going to be playing it with the unofficial Patch Plus, which uh, has you know, given it new life from its original state. Because uh, when the game was released, it was a very, very, very problematic birth for the game. And uh, yeah, it was not a great game when it was first released. It was quite buggy. And yeah, even though the story and everything was fantastic, it was quite buggy. So yeah, that's why the unofficial patch exists. Uh, it was created to try and fix some of the bugs, try to bring back some of the content in the game that was cut due to time constraints and whatnot. Um, and yeah, just try to polish the game so it's a more full uh, experience. Now, I have previously played Vampire the Masquerade Redemption on my channel. Uh, those videos you can find. Um, I played that game too when it first released. Uh, I forget what year it was, 2001? It might have been 2002? Anyway, it was a long time ago. And uh, as I said, this one came out in 2004. And I played it when it first came out. Uh, even before the first and second... Or did it ha There were a few official patches that came out for it. I think it got out to version 1.2 officially. Um, before they gave up on it. Uh, and that's when the unofficial patches came in. But yes, so I am very familiar with this uh, game and story and I'll be using um, some mods. I've modded the game myself. Um, I won't be using one of the, the default models for the game, the, you know, the player character models. I'll be using my own um, custom model not one that I made, but it's another model from the game. So I've just substituted one of the NPC models as my player model with a different skin. Um, and I've I'm denarred about it, but the a lot of there's a lot of copywritten music in the game, which is quite beloved. Um, so I've made the hard choice to remove the copywritten music from the game and in its stead put in music which is uh, copyright free. Um, the music I've added in is from one particular musician who allows for his music to be used online on YouTube um, as long as you know, he's credited and you know linked back to his uh, website, etc., etc. So, all that information about the music can be found in the box below the video if you're interested. He's a great uh, composer, so yeah, I recommend looking at his stuff. Um, you'll, as I said, you'll hear some of his music in the game, or quite a bit of his music in the game, as well as the original. Um, composer who who uh, did the um, instrumental music uh, for the game. It was mainly just the songs with, that were played in clubs and uh, that was copywritten music. So yeah, without further ado, let's start a new game. Now, for those who have never played a Vampire Mas the Masquerade game before, I'll just quickly run 
through the different types of vampires there are. So there are different clans. We've got Brujar, Gangrel, Malkavian, Nosferatu, Toriador, Tremere, and Ventru. These are the ones that are in this game anyway. So these are probably the mainstay of the Camarilla uh, clans. So I'll just quickly go through them. I won't read out this information, but you're quite welcome to read it. Uh, but the Bruja, I, I pronounce it that way because I uh, grew up with the Vampire the Masquerade Redemption game, and that's the way they pronounced it, or it was how it was pronounced in that game, Bruja. Um, it was later changed to Bruja, and that's the pronunciation that's used in this game by the NPCs uh, when they talk about Bruja, you know, Bruja. Um, it's what I call Bruja. Um, yeah. Neither, neither of them is incorrect pronunciation as far as I'm concerned, because Bruja was the official pronunciation to begin with. And then it was changed later on. But um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, either is okay. Bruja or Bruja. Um, Bruja is based on, you know, the Bruja of, uh, I think it's Brazil. But anyway, it is what it is. Bruja, Bruja, tomato, tomato, you know, same thing. The Gangrel. Um, these guys have their own types of things that they can do. They can turn in shapeshift, so they can turn into beasts and things like that, which is quite nice if you want to be a wolf or a bear or, you know, something like that. Um, Malkavians. Malkavians, I find them the most interesting to play because they are quite insane. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get some quite interesting interactions with, uh, you know, other people, you know, the NPCs and so on and so forth. So when I play a uh, vampire masquerade game, I do tend to go with Malkavians, um, as I will in this playthrough. Although I will be playing a female character, which will be a bit odd because I'll be reading out my dialogue responses, and of course I am male, so yeah, but I, ju I just prefer uh, playing females in games if I have a choice. It's just, that's just me. Anyway, next up we have the Nosferatu, who are quite beastly looking, and they are, the physical appearance anyway, is based on the Nosferatu that appeared in the original film. Um, I forget what year the film came out. It was a very early film, black and white film. One of the first real films to be made. Um, but yeah, Nosferatu. And there was an interesting, uh, more recent film called The Shadow of the Vampire, which was sort of a tongue-in-cheek backstory or, you know, looking at... Uh, the Nosferatu, the making of the film, and and uh, they made it that the Nosferatu was an actual real vampire, um, and they were making a film with him in the leading role. <laughs> so he was playing a vampire, or playing himself as a vampire. But anyway, interesting. So Nosferatu, uh, in the mythology of Vampire the Masquerade, these guys... Um, tend to stick the shadows because they're so different. Uh, they can't really pose as human, whereas most of the other clans are able to pass as human, even the Gangrel, uh, when they're in their human form. But yeah, most most of the vampires can pass as human, which is the masquerade, which is, you know, so that the humans don't actually know that vampires exist. So Nosferatu is usually the hardest of the clans to play because you can't just walk around in broad daylight, well, not daylight, but um, in broad view of other humans because 
You, you, you really do look like a monster. So yeah, you can't blend in. Then we have the Toreador, which is the absolute opposite of the uh, Nosferatu clan. So these guys, uh, it pictures themselves as artists and visionaries, but uh, they're all about physical appearance and looking good. And yeah, so a lot of uh, real world actors, actresses, um, show people, if they're turned, they usually become Toreador. Um, I guess in the law that, it, you know, if you are turned by a so, so-and-so clan, then you are that clan as well. Um, like father, like son, like mother, like daughter. But yeah, I mean, it just happens that most Toreadors were, you know, movie stars or something in their former life. Whether it's just that they like to turn them, you know, turn other actors or whoever. But yeah, that's usually how it goes in this uh, in this world. Then we've got the Tremere, who are an interesting class. They use blood magic. Now, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know if they were kicked out of the Camarilla at some point. I've, I, I'm not really in on the lore of vamp you know the masquerade law but yeah they're the closest to or the, the least close to being in uh you know core camarilla clan because they use dark magic blood magic so yeah they're almost a sabbat type clan sabbat uh well we'll hear about that as this in the story but yeah, the spat are the bad guys. Um, then we've got the Ventru. So these guys like to try to control the Camarilla. They are the clan that leads the Camarilla, mostly. Um, yeah. So these guys are very much into politics and power plays and all that stuff. Not really my thing. This would probably be the my least favourite clan to play. Um, yeah, they 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 can't uh, feed on low lives, <laughs> prostitutes, homeless, and definitely not rats. So yeah, they they uh, try to keep their so-called blue blood line. Uh, pure. But anyway, as I said, I'm going to be playing Melkavian, I'm going to be playing female, and I'll be using a custom model, or a different model to the usual one that's used, because personally I just found it ridiculous. Um, so I've got a slightly less ridiculous model to, to use, which is this one. And I'm going to use a history which is just um, you know a different way of playing the game. So this is a back history for my character. I'm going to use Ninja because she thinks she's a ninja, or at least one of her personalities thinks she, it's a ninja or was a ninja in a previous life. Um, and as part of the history, I start with an extra point in well, start with a point in brawl and melee, but I can never raise firearms above zero. So my character of Kaya, that's her name, um, she will definitely be a melee weaponry gal. She will not be using ducks, I mean guns, uh, as weapons. I mean, she might throw ducks at people, but yeah, she won't be uh, using guns and bullets at people. Anyway, so that's her basic model. It will change as the game goes on because uh, you can change, you know, you get better outfits as the game goes on. Okay, so this is her basic sheet. So she starts off with some points to distribute. 
three, um, okay, so we've got two in mental, one in social, three in knowledges, two in skills, one in talent, and one in disciplines. Disciplines are like magic um, that vampires can use. It's their powers, special powers. And uh, the different clans have different powers that they can use. Um, some There is some overlap. Um, for example, obfuscate is or can also be used by the Nosferatu. So that is how they can get around without freaking all the humans out. They just turn themselves invisible so they can't be seen out in the open. Um, and Malkavians also have that ability, which is quite handy. I quite like uh, the uh, power of invisibility. Anyway, before I get stuck down here with disciplines, let's start off with the basic attributes. Now, I can't put anything into my physical attributes, so I start off with one point in strength, dexterity, and stamina. As I put the mouse over things, you'll see down the bottom that it changes and it gives you a little bit of a blurb as to what those uh, particular things do, those attributes. So Malkavians demonstrate less concern for their physical well-being than other vampires because they're quite mad. They hear voices, etc, etc. Um, but they also have really good insight. Um, they may not understand what they're talking about or, or why, you know, how they know things. But yeah, they've got almost a uh, uncanny uh, insight into the future and into people's thoughts and so on and so forth, even if they may not understand it fully themselves. Okay, so we've got one point to put into a social attribute. So we've got charisma, got manipulation, and we've got appearance. So as well as the down here that changes, you can see over here, it changes depending on what I click. So if I want to put one point into persuasion, that's charisma, what charisma will do. Manipulation will increase my haggle, which is uh, the money related, ability to estimate the value of goods and haggle for better prices. So that's manipulation. And appearance will increase my seduction feat. So I am going to put a point into appearance. Because Kaya is quite attractive, she might be quite mad, but she's physically attractive. So I'm going to put her appearance up accordingly to how she looks. Um, okay, we've got two mental points to be used. I'm going to put it into wits. Um, I think I might actually put both points into wits because Kaya thinks that she's a, an assassin uh, with a uh, background of being a ninja or a samurai. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skew the points in that direction to match her backstory. Um, I'm going to put one into dodge, a talent uh, point into dodge, which is a uh, character's ability to uh, avoid taking damage during combat, which is what she would be doing. She'd be, you know, she'd think that she was trained and she's probably had some training um, in the past. So as we can see here under skills, Firearms, we can't put any points into firearms. We've got zero there. Um, we start off with zero in all of these. So, except melee and brawl, which we got the extra point because we're a ninja. Or we think we're a ninja. So, I am going to put a point into security, which will boost up the uh, lock picking skill, and stealth, which will boost the sneaking skill. Because again, she thinks she's an assassin. Um, knowledge, we have three points to distribute. She's not really into computers or finance. 
So I'm going to put it into scholarship. I think I'll put two points into scholarship, which will increase her persuasion and research skills. And one point into investigation, which is inspection. Because again, Malkavian's insight. So she will notice things more than other people. And in terms of discipline, we've got one, one point to put into a discipline. I'm going to go obfuscate because that is probably the most interesting of the powers that the Malkavians have. So we've got Auspex, which I think is pretty useless. Dementation, which can be useful. It just shares the love. So uh, it makes you know a target go mad for a little while. So that can be useful. Stop them attacking you. Um, and then there's obfuscate, which will uh, turn you invisible, which I think is the most useful, especially if you're trying to be stealthy. So my final scores for my feats, you can see there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty well-rounded character. Um, who one skills are ranged combat, so that's low because she won't be doing much in the way of ranged combat. She'll be melee. Um, haggle, she's not very good at haggling. Intimidate, she's not very intimidating because she's a tiny little girl. Well, young woman. Um, and yeah, these won't rise much over the course of the game. The soak damages. If you're lucky, you might get two or three points into them by the end of the game. So, yeah. Armor is the best way to increase these. Uh, better, better armor that you wear will protect you from damage. Otherwise, yeah, you rarely get much into that. Anyway, I'm going to accept that and we'll watch the opening cutscenes. A little bit of backstory as to what, how Kaya got to be a vampire. <laughs> I want to show you something. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. No, As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society. 
lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! All I'm saying is that he better not do it. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Okay. Now, the next little section is a tutorial, but I will play through it simply because you get to know more about the law and how things work in the game. So I won't read things out in the boxes that you like the one in front of you, um, but I'll just click through them. You can pause and read them if you so wish. Um, it'll basically just tell you the basics of how things work. You've got the blood pool on the right, you've got your health on the left, and, um, yeah. So I'll just quickly look through my character. So this is my inventory. I've no cash. My wallet is empty, baby. I'm so broke I can't even pay, to f can't even afford to pay attention. There you go. Got no keys on my key ring, so I'm pretty well have nothing. That's clothes. Ah, that's weapons. So I've got no weapons. Um, and clothing. I think that's guns, actually. That's melee weapons. So fists are a melee weapon. And clothing, that's just the light clothing that I'm wearing, which offers no protection at all, but it's comfortable. I've also got my character sheet. Now, because I'm using a custom model, the model on the character sheet uh, is stuffed. So it looks really, really weird. I don't know why it goes like that, because it looks fine when you've, you know, in the other, when you creating the character. I can't work out where it gets the model from, but yeah, it's obviously very, very, very low poly. Anyway, it'll mostly just be in the background, so hopefully it's not too distracting. Anyway, that's just my uh, sheet again that we saw when I was creating the character, so it hasn't changed because, yeah. Um, when you level up, you get more points to distribute. 
So yeah, you can increase your different attributes and abilities and so on and so forth. Anyway, oh, I can also hide my HUD if I so wish and I can switch between first and third person. Am I boring you, Kaya? Um, so yeah, normally the combat will be third person because um, I'll be using melee combat. It'll be third person, but for the most part I'll be in first person perspective um, when talking to people, etc, etc. I've also got subtitles turned off so that um, let me know, let me know if you want subtitles on. I, I prefer to have them off uh, myself, but yeah, just let me know if you do want them on. When you have them on, the text will, or the subtitles will cover up about half the screen, at the bottom of the screen, because it, it will be in a little box, and it covers up the uh, who you're talking to. So I prefer to see them in full, but anyway. <laughs> what a scene, man! Hoo wee! <laughs> then it just plop you out here like a nigga. So baby that's what the board. subtitles look like. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? The Reign of Ages plots again to wash away a re revelation. What? Oh, man! And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. Yep, I am fucked. Who is this dark demon I see before me? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? I'm in. I shall undertake your dark tutelage. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Let's leave the Theatre of Horrors behind. Christ, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare-bones stuff at least, you know? Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? A drink? About what beverage do you babble? Oh man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this. Alright, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamp, your new champagne, but your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Sweet like a prom date? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> How do I do this dread deed? Alright. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Hmm. Will he then carry this curse in his veins? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Okay, I go to drain the luscious liquid. Okay, blood pool on the right, as I said. Hey, Jack. Okay, let's go find this poor SOB. Now, as I said, I'll mostly be in first person, except in combat. But yeah, third person is uh, like so. Okay, there's the guy. I'm just going to try and sneak up on him. Okay, feeding on humans fills your blood pool. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, once you've begun to feed, you will see the bar appear. This represents your victim's blood pool. You should stop feeding before emptying his blood pool and killing him. Oh. 
Hello. Oh, oh yum, 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 yum. I jumped right onto him. So, his blood goes down, mine goes up. That's the way it should be. That's all I need. Thank you, mate. So in a bit of a trance now. Okay, I'm now at full strength. see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. So spooky. And when do I get to choose the color of my cape? All right, now. You got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait! It gets better. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Tell me this tale. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Hmm. My lifeline will go on forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Like a bad sunburn. Okay, now. What the fuck is this? If you get inside, you head up. Beat up. I'm going in. Okay. Okay, jump onto the boxes against the wall and up to the walkway above. Okay, I can do that. Something there. Inspection. Yes, I can see something that's a little bit hidden. Pick up objects. Yes. So we have a lockpick. Good for opening doors. We have the skill. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. They're a. Uh... This shit to layer. Uh, the Sabbat. Well, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? Where does this path lead? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. New prince? Tell me more of the Jester Prince. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. If not the sword? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Bastards. 
All right, we gotta vamoose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I shall invade this orifice. Okay, access your quest log. La 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 la. Okay, active quests. Jihad for beginners. A vicious vampire faction known as the Sabat has launched an assault on the secret, secret Camarilla gathering downtown. You and Jack are caught in the middle. To escape, you must obtain entry to the orifice. See, the model's fine here. I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Very odd. Okay, so what do we need to do? Okay, we've got to unlock a door. Lock picking. Lock picking. Easy. Jack! Is that you breaking a window? Okay, that's where I came up. Ah, uh, shortcut. Oh, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Uh, my halo was terribly tarnished. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Hmm. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento and it's and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. My mind is beginning to cloud. Shine a light and explain. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Enforcing the masquerade. Ah. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Paint me a picture. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I shall seek this key. Okay, we've got an area indicator icon on the left. Currently it's a gun, which means combat. Anything goes. Then we've got the masquerade. We need to respect the mas masquerade. And then there's Elysium, v uh, Vampire Neutral Ground. No combat or disciplines are allowed, except blood buff. Well, lock, lock picking. Okay, in masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences, such as the unwanted attention of vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, your game is over. Your current number of violations is displayed on the upper right corner of your character sheet. So, that's my character sheet. Masquerade violations that get these things so they get crossed out if you get get a strike. Um, yeah, vampires also have humanity. So, uh, yeah. So the closer you are in touch with your human nature, the higher your humanity, and the more beast-like you are, then the lower your humanity. Pretty simple, really. So, we've got to find a key. The key. 
Okay, use a computer. Not a big fan of computers. We got here? Can read a note. Password. Chop chop. Okay. And we've got a locked safe by the way. Okay. Available menus. Safe. Let's try it. Type it right. Password required. Let's try chop shop. Very good. Okay, available menus, available commands. Unlock or lock. Safe security controls. How about we say unlock? Safe doors unlocked. Cool. So, did that open our little safe here? go. Here's my stuff. This is stuff in the safe. So we've got a chop shop key. Key to the stairwell at the back of the chop shop. So let's take that. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm going to check out things from topside. I will do this deed. Okay, I just want to get to look at my inventory. So my key ring now has the chop shop key on it. Even though it's a key card, it's still attached to the key ring. Okay. Close that door. Now we've used that key, we've lost the chop shop key. I've been wounded by the sabbat. That's great. Okay, yellow is aggravated damage. So fire, supernatural attacks can cause aggravated damage, which takes much longer to heal. Anyway, this is just normal damage. Hey, Jack. Fucking waste of unlife, these sabbat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Uh, does blood have a vintage and bouquet? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff, but you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. The thirsty rarely avoid an oasis. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. What if I drain him dry? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one. Even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Yes, the dark beast coiled beneath the surface. The beast, it's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. They'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. Yeah, when the beast takes control, you can't do a thing. You just have to sit back and watch your uh, character go on a killing spree, basically. Anyway, what if a human tries to harm me? I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> Drain skin, bash and dash. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Such lines divide this world from the last. 
All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Aye, aye. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, you want to avoid draining your victims. If you're uh, draining victims, will give you a penalty to your humanity. Hello. Take hold of the crab nipple, old hit. Crab nipple. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Whoa, he drains fast. But I'm nice and healed now, so that's the main thing. Sorry, Mr. Crab Nipple, sir. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> Ugh. His neck tasted like your breath smells. Well, give it a try. Uh, I need to floss the flannel from my fangs. Okay, rats can be fed upon. I don't want to kill a rat. Very sanitary. Eating rats. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Just couldn't bear it, huh? Ah, it's okay. But like kindred society looks down on that kind of thing anyway. I can see the truth in this rodent taboo. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Anyone? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneaky, sneaky. Where shall I sneak? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. Okay, now you see me, then you don't. Alright, go. Gone. Okay, sneaking. Combination of dexterity and stealth. Okay, the meter on the left indicates your proximity to your enemies and their chances of detecting you if they're looking your way. Green means you're safe, yellow means you might be seen, and red means that they'll see you if they look in your direction. An enemy's chance of detecting you is directly tied to your sneaking feet. If you are detected, your enemies will often say as much and come to investigate. Excuse me, Jack. Let's sneak. So, be hard with this light around. Oh, there's this guy down there. I see him. Around the other side of the car, if I can. It's better. He's there. Yeah, I'm just going to wait here for a minute. Let's see if he's going to move around at all. Looks like I need to go around to the right here. Get into this building. He's not moving, so I'm going to move. I'm just hoping that I can get past. Which it sounds like he's moving now. Still there? Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, I'm going to make a dash for it. Keep it quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from the pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he's probably greener than you. How can you see the shade from here? The Sabat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Hmm, my own green paint is still fairly fresh. Now he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fire, put them out of his misery. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. He is a vampire, so be ready. 
Vampire or no, he meets his maker tonight. Go get him. Getting. Okay, unarmed combat. Let's have some fun, shall we? Shall I try and sneak up for him? Where is he? He's over there still. Let's try and sneak up on him. Oh, he saw me. I'm a big bad vampire. Oh, ow. You're gone. And I got a tire iron. Okay, I can equip it. Yeah, where's my weapons there? There we go. I now have a tire iron. Wait till I get a knife or a sword or something. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground, avoid straight bullets. This plan is fine to me. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Uh, I will not wait for you. But it is not the only solution for sticky situations. You can also use your feats and disciplines in dialogue. When you are able to do this, your responses will show up in different colours and when using higher resolutions, different fonts that are indicated below. One, two, three, four. So we have a dementation response. So that's a Malkavian trait. Um, the blue indicates a persuasion response. The pink indicates a seduction response. Green in indicates an intimidation response. So if my um, seduction, for example, is up high, I might get a pink uh, text to choose from to seduce the other NPC. You! Just stay back. Keep your distance. Now who the hell are you? You involved in all this? Cause I'm gonna radio this in and SWAT will be all over this place. Okay, so I've got one of each here. <laughs> Fearful men make me hot all over. My compliments. <laughs> Thank you. Look lady, I don't know what you want, and I'm not about to take a bullet for this job. So, can we go now? Yeah, okay, all right, this way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. Follow me not, if you want to live. It's one of the benefits of playing a female character. You get to seduce all the stupid males. Okay, we've got a guy over here. Okay, stealth kills. Sneak in, get behind. Snappy, snappy. Hey, Jack. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. More fun then. Okay. Disciplines are your vampiric powers and cost a certain amount of blood from your blood pool to activate. The innate ability common to all vampires is blood heal, which heals you. There are two, just, uh, two kinds of disciplines. Passive disciplines that directly affect you and targeted disciplines that directly affect your enemies. Blood buff is a, another ability common to all vampires. 
Uh, blood buff gives you a temporary bonus to all your physical attributes. So it's strength, stamina, dexterity. This is useful variety. This is useful in a variety of situations like picking a lock that would otherwise be too difficult. Note in Elysium areas you can only use blood buff while picking a lock only. It's a rat. I hear a rat. Anyway, got a lock pick. And it's above my skill level, so if I do a blood buff and lock pick, I succeeded. Okay, Malkavians have three unique disciplines Auspex, Dementation, and Obfuscate. Auspex gives you the ability to see people's auras. The aura colour indicates an individual's disposition. Auspex also increases your perception, important to both the ranged combat and inspection feats. Use the Auspex. Use of Auspex is not a masquerade violation. There's a guard up ahead. Use Auspex to see his aura through the machinery. Once you see the guard, equip the tire iron, move forward and kill him. Well, that's something I like to do. So, Auspex, let's just... That's oh, yeah. Ow. Come on. Tough little bugger. Yeah. I think they're clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here and come to an elevator around the way. Okay, till our next encounter at the elevator. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. I'll do the fishing. Okay, obfuscate is the power of vampiric invisibility. Use of obfuscate is not a vamp uh, a masquerade violation. There's guard up ahead. Use obfuscate to sneak past him. Easy. Okay, Dementation is the vampiric power causing visions and madness in others. Dementation is a targeted discipline. The effect and its length varies on with each level. Use of Dementation is not a masquerade violation. Okay, there's a guard up ahead. Use dementation to incapacitate him and pass by. Oops, actually, I'm still using obfuscate, so I'll turn that off. Use Veil of Madness. So I've got to target him. There we go. <laughs> Now he's not going to hurt me because he's too busy laughing. So one big joke here. Okay, when you see that icon, you can pick up an object and throw it. Thrown objects make noise and can be used to distract your enemies. There's a vampire up ahead guarding the exit. Crouch and find an object that you can pick up. Throw it away from the guard to distract him. Once he's away from the exit, sneak through the room and leave. Okay, where's the guard over there? Huh? Okay, he's distracted. Fucking 
humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Aw, oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Hmm. Do we uh, lick these locals? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Hmm. These kinds of peas are undoubtedly deadly. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Hmm. Firearms sound foolish and feeble. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I'll make sure to bypass any boomsticks. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. I will do this deed. Okay, I've been given a 38 revolver. Gotta equip it and fire off some shots. Okay, gotta hit some bottles. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, there we go. Guns. Who needs guns? You got fangs. Wow, can't see shit. Oops. Okay, there's a bottle at the end of the crate. Yep. Here, I hit one. Amazing. Guns suck. Are you ready? Can't even hit a rat. I'm gonna go back to my melee weapon. Okay, I guess we're on ground level. Gangbangers. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. It's got a gun. Where are you going, man? Oh. Stop, man! I was going to try and feed. <laughs> oh, I've got a bat now. I've got a bat now. I'm gonna beat you like a red, red-headed stepchild. All right. You like that? That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Surely this blood drama continues. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry, Dodge, Spin and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. Hmm. These are the nightly battles of this ancient game. Well, to be honest, we came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hell is my eternal madness. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Dreams will come during the day, but I'll need the pea shooter. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, I've received two experience points. Pressing the character editor key, you can access your character sheet and spend the experience points. 
where you see fit. Okay, your haven, Prince LaCroix has arranged for you to use a Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica. Okay, well, I'm over time, so I'm going to leave it there for now. I'll just quickly uh, spend some points. Um, okay, so I can spend them anywhere, I guess. Doesn't say it's got to be a particular area. Um, that's the two points there. So how about I'm going to put one in, into strength. Can I? Maybe I can't. Hmm. Maybe I can't do that. Oh, the cost, 10. Cost, 4. Okay, okay, I'm with you. I'd forgotten about that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wait until I get the cost up. So, 4 experience points to increase intelligence. It'll be 12 to increase my wits. Okay, I'm with you. So, I can't actually do anything yet. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Join me next time. And, yeah, we'll start exploring Santa Monica with Kaya, the Malkavian vampire. Hope you join me then.